where we learn about and celebrate Black history. Today, we are going to meet George Washington Carver, a scientist and an inventor who created over 300 products from peanuts. Are you ready? Let's go! This is George Washington Carver. He was born in January 1864 in Diamond Grove, Missouri. Once slavery was abolished by Abraham Lincoln, that means slavery was now illegal, George was raised by Mary and Moses Carver. They were a couple who had no children of their own, so they raised George and his brother like their own children and taught them to read and write. George also liked reading the Bible. Growing up, George enjoyed learning things. He especially liked learning about animals and plants. When he was older, he wanted to continue learning, but there were many schools in his area who would not allow him to attend because he was African American. So he had to travel very far to find a school that would allow him to attend there to continue his education. George loved science and art. He took some art classes at Simpson College in Iowa, where he enjoyed painting portraits of plants. That's nice, Mr. Carver. George loved science, art, and plants so much that one of his teachers suggested he combine the three and study botany. Botany is the study of plants. George enrolled in Iowa State University to study botany. He was the first African American to attend Iowa State University. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in science, and then he continued his education and got a master's degree in botany. He was an expert in botany from all the research that he did. You go, Mr. Carver. George Washington Carver also did many things with peanuts. In fact, he was so good with peanuts that people called him the peanut man. Now, he did not invent the peanuts, but he did invent lots of things from peanuts that are very useful today. We're gonna take a look at his lab right now. Come on. George Washington Carver was an inventor and a scientist. That means he spent lots of time in the lab working on his discoveries. He developed over 300 uses just for the peanuts. And he's going to tell us what some of those things are right now. Carver, did you really create all these products from a peanut? I most certainly did. Milk, plastic, paint, dyes, medicine, soap, ink, and wood stains. I also created over 118 products from sweet potato, like molasses, glue, flour, vinegar, rubber, gasoline, and more. But most of my products came from peanuts. That's why they call me the peanut man. I'm the peanut man. The peanut man. George!
do like peanuts, and I love peanut butter. Now, Dr. Carver did not invent peanut butter. He just made it really popular. He shared his knowledge with everyone he knew, and thousands of lives were changed for the better because of it. He didn't ask for any money from his inventions because he genuinely wanted to help people. And today, the world is so much better because of George Washington Carver and his inventions. Dr. Carver died on January 5th, 1943. Congress named January 5th George Washington Carver Day. And there is a statue of George Washington Carver in the Missouri Botanical Gardens in St. Louis. What an honor. Thank you, George Washington Carver. Mm. Well, my friends, that's all we have time for today. This tour has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed your visit to the Black History Museum. And I hope you enjoyed learning about Dr. George Washington Carver and his many inventions. Be sure to come back. We've got one more tour left here at the Black History Museum. Until then, keep celebrating. And remember, you don't have to wait until February to celebrate Black History. Celebrate Black History every day. After all, Black History is American History. Bye.